Hi, my, my name's Robbie Fleming. Uh, I'm here on the Sony uh, stand. What we're showing uh, on the stand today actually is our full XE cam range. So um, from our um, professional entry level products from our NX3, all going through our X180, 200 to our Z100. So we have a full range of what we call traditional cameras. Um, uh, all of these are now XAVC uh, compatible. What we have here then is, is our, our two um, latest cameras really, which are traditional based. We have the, the um, PXW X180. Uh, this is sort of aimed at um, event uh, videography. It's, the great thing is it's got a 25 zoom lens. So it's really good for actually um, as a full round camera. So it's probably got the biggest lens on the market. Uh, internally, we can actually do uh, MPEG-2. Um, so we can actually do 422. We also do XAVC. XAVC will give us not just um, 50 megabits, but it will give us 100 megabits iframe. So we actually can give you very good picture quality. So where you'd use that, you could use it in keying. So therefore you've got really good keying and you're defining it right down because it's iframe based. Um, the great thing, it has full wireless capacities. Um, so we can actually stream out the back of this if you want to. We can control it via wireless. So what we're trying to actually give across on our, all of our XT cam range is a, a, brand, a new generation of camera where really you've got everything you need straight away. So this probably is the, the ultimate in event videographers' cameras because it's actually got everything you would actually ever need. Uh, one of the other great features is, is we have this variable ND. So where, where, where actually you would use an ND filter with three slots, this actually gives me 128 places where I can actually adjust the ND so I can actually also do depth of field. So therefore with the codec, um, you can use this camera. It has three CCDs, so yeah, um, it will prove with the codec that we'll go into it. The other one we have is the X200, which is our replacement from the PMW200. And that was a really, um, upgrade in really lens so it went from a 14 to a 17 time lens we added in xavc as codex as well so we we've kept in the mpeg 2 so we still have that bbc broadcast approved but also then we have uh, lifted the date uh, the sorry the frame rate so we can actually also offer 50p and 60p as well so again across our range of traditional cameras we have actually uh, got a good offering one of the one of the new features we've added is something called MI shoe as well. So MI shoe it gives us the ability to have an electrical connection, which allows us then to have our wireless mics. So when you're actually using our wireless mics, so all you do is slot them in. They're powered from the battery of the camera, and the audio goes directly in. So there's no wires that you need at all. So really, really simple to use. It also goes with the. Uh, the battery on the back here, so that can be controlled by the camera as well. So we have some, we're looking at a real whole solution and what we can provide. So this is our, um, our, our PXW X70. So this is, uh, it's not, it's fairly new, so September IBC we brought this out. Um, the great thing about this is a 10-bit camera and it works in XABC, so it do 50 megabits, 10-bit at 422. So actually the codec is amazing. So the quality you're going to get from it, it has an inch sensor, which is over sort of Super 16. So it's got really good light, um, light sensitivity of, uh, of the um, sensor, so it's really good in low light. Um, what we've done, we've taken it really from the body of one of our consumer units and actually bolted on a, a part on the side here. So we've actually given it SDI standard. We've given it a full HDMI lead as well. We've also put a menu button that's really easy to use rather than use the uh, touch screen, which still works anyway. Um, the thing what most people like about this camera is, is it's nice and small and easy to use, but also packs a massive punch uh, in quality. So you know, your blacks, you can see into your blacks because they're, they're, they're such a bandwidth for what you're getting from the lens as well. So one of the good things is it's got a, a 24 times zoom, 12 of that is optical. The rest is using the, the inch sensor to actually go into it. So therefore you're actually getting really uh, good good quality at 25, uh, 24. So the nice thing we're actually announcing here today is actually we are announcing the, four, the 4K upgrade for this. Um, it's a paid for upgrade, so existing users can upgrade it or it can be bought at the time of the board, uh, uh, when you buy it from the dealer as, as part of the upgrade. 
and that will also then give you a 4K option for it as well. So it's a really good future-proof camera that um, people can buy and use. The price point is uh, 1,800 pounds or thereabouts. Um, uh, Euros is uh, 2,313 is its list price. It basically has, uh, let's just show the back of it. So what it does have, it has two SD cards, which means I can actually do backup, no problem. I can also then um, uh, do similar, simultaneous for it. So I can go from one disc to the next disc. So that works quite well. We also have the ability to record to one all the time and then record to the second, just by pressing the second record button. So, um, and we're just about to add a new uh, HD upgrade of the firmware, which actually allows me to add wireless streaming to this as well, and also to use proxy as well. So overall, great little camera. Uh, most of our users who have brought them love it. The market is, it's, it's being used all, all the way up to really broadcast because it's small and handy. I mean, the great thing is you can unplug it just here. Not with one hand. And it becomes an unassuming professional camera. So, you know, when you need the audio, the professional audio, you just plonk, put it on. This is quite hard with one hand, yeah. So it gives you all the, all the audio you, you need. It has MI shoe here, so if I want to put in a, a wireless mic and use it directly into it, it will actually allow me to put that in, not from the handle, but actually from the MI shoe part there. So the great thing here, with, with, with the, uh, using the MI shoe part of that, I can put this on and actually it will be powered from the battery behind here. All audio straight, goes straight in on, onto, onto the recording.